हेलो बच्चों एस एफ पी सोर विच ती प्रोपर्टीज ऑफ इंटेग्रल्स बारे जानकारी प्राप्त करोगे तुम एना बारे तो जानते ही होवोगे इंटीग्रेसन एज अ रिवर्स प्रोसैस ऑफ डिफ्रेंसीएशन इंटेग्रल्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड फंक्शनस आओ हूँ शुरू करिए We know that integration is a reverse process of differentiation. Let capital F be any antiderivative of small f. Then differentiation of capital F of x, that is derivative of capital F of x with respect to x, is equal to small f of x. and let us take this as equation 1 integral of small f of x with respect to x is equal to capital f of x plus c and let us take this equation as equation number 2 therefore derivative of integral of small f of x with respect to x is equal to derivative of capital f of x plus c with respect to x this we have obtained by using equation number 2 or we can say that derivative of integral of small f of x with respect to x is equal to derivative of capital f of x with respect to x since we know that derivative of constant c with respect to x is equal to 0 or we can say that derivative of integral of small f of x with respect to x is equal to small f of x this we have obtained from equation number 1 that is derivative of capital f of x with respect to x is equal to small f of x so we can say that differentiation is a reverse process of integration similarly we know that derivative of small f of x with respect to x is equal to f dash x so from equation number 1 and equation number 2 we get integral of f dash x with respect to x is equal to f of x plus c so the first property of integration is given as integration and differentiation are reverse process of each other that is derivative of integral of f of x with respect to x is equal to f of x and integral of f dash x with respect to x is equal to f of x plus c where f dash x is equal to derivative of f of x with respect to x and c is any arbitrary constant now let us consider two functions such as f of x and g of x such that derivative of integral of f of x with respect to x is equal to derivative of integral of g of x with respect to x which can be written as derivative of integral of f of x with respect to 
x minus derivative of integral of g of x with respect to x is equal to 0 or derivative of integral of f of x with respect to x minus integral of g of x with respect to x is equal to 0. Now we know that differentiation of a constant value is 0. Therefore we can say that integral of f of x with respect to x minus integral of g of x with respect to x is a constant value or let it be equal to c therefore integral of f of x with respect to x is equal to integral of g of x with respect to x plus c so the families of curves integral of f of x with respect to x plus c1 where c1 belongs to r and integral of g of x with respect to x plus c2 where c2 belongs to r are identical. Hence integral of f of x with respect to x and integral of g of x with respect to x are equivalent. Therefore second property of integral is that indefinite integrals with the same derivative are of the same family of curves and are equivalent. Third property of integrals that is integration of sum. In the similar way third property of integrals is given as integral of f of x plus g of x with respect to x is equal to integral of f of x with respect to x plus integral of g of x with respect to x. Let us prove it using first property of integrals that is derivative of integral of in brackets f of x plus g of x with respect to x is equal to f of x plus g of x. Let us take this as equation number 1 and derivative of integral of f of x with respect to x plus integral of g of x with respect to x is equal to derivative of integral of f of x with respect to x plus derivative of integral of g of x with respect to x that is derivative of integral of f of x with respect to x plus integral of g of x with respect to x is equal to f of x plus g of x. Now from property number 2 we know that the indefinite integrals with the same derivative are of the same family of curves and are equivalent. So from equation number 1 and equation number 2 we get integral of f of x plus g of x with respect to x is equal to integral of f of x with respect to x plus integral of g of x with respect to x. 
property number 4 that is integration of constant multiple fourth property of integral is given as for any real number k integral of k into f of x with respect to x is equal to k into integral of f of x with respect to x let us prove it by property number 1 derivative of integral of k into f of x with respect to x is equal to k into f of x and derivative of k into integral of f of x with respect to x is equal to k into derivative of integral of f of x with respect to x which is equal to k into f of x as derivative of integral of f of x with respect to x is equal to f of x. Now fifth property. This property is the combination of property number 3 and property number 4 that is integral k1 into f1 of x plus k2 into f2 of x plus k3 into f3 of x plus and so on up to plus kn into fn of x with respect to x is equal to k1 into integral of f1 of x with respect to x plus k2 into integral of f2 of x with respect to x plus k3 into integral of f3 of x with respect to x plus and so on up to plus kn into integral of fn of x with respect to x. Hun tak to see properties of integrals bare jan kari praap ki ti hai. Aao hun este adarit ko chudar nanu hal kari hai. Let us see an example. Find integral of 2 into x square minus x raised to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 upon x with respect to x. Pass integral of 2 into x square minus x raised to the power 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon x with respect to x pata karo now let us see its solution let i is equal to integral of 2 into x square minus x raised to the power 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon x with respect to x now by integration of some property of integrals as we know that integral of f of x plus g of x with respect to x is equal to integral of f of x with respect to x plus integral of 
g of x with respect to x so using the above property here we get i is equal to integral of 2 into x square with respect to x minus integral of x raised to the power 1 upon 3 with respect to x minus integral of 1 upon x with respect to x. Now, by integration of constant multiple property of integrals, as we know that for any real number k, integral of k into f of x with respect to x is equal to k into integral of f of x with respect to x. So, using this result, here we get i is equal to 2 into integral of x square with respect to x minus integral of x raised to the power 1 upon 3 with respect to x minus integral of 1 upon x with respect to x. Now, using the standard results of integration, we get i is equal to 2 whole multiplied by x raised to the power 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 plus constant c1 minus x raised to the power 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 1 upon 3 plus 1 plus constant c2 minus log of mod of x plus constant c3 this implies i is equal to 2 whole multiplied by x raised to the power 3 upon 3 plus constant c1 minus x raised to the power 4 upon 3 upon 4 upon 3 plus constant c2 minus log of mod of x plus constant c3 so we have i is equal to 2 upon 3 into x raised to the power 3 minus 3 upon 4 into x raised to the power 4 upon 3 minus log of mod of x plus c where c is the constant of integration and 2 into c1 minus c2 minus c3 is equal to c therefore we have integral of 2 into x square minus x raised to the power 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon x with respect to x is equal to 2 upon 3 into x raised to the power 3 minus 3 upon 4 into x raised to the power 4 upon 3 minus log of mod of x plus c where c is 
is the constant of integration. Hence, this is the required solution. Let us see another example. Find integral of 5 into x raised to the power minus 2 minus 3 into sine of 2x minus e raised to the power minus 3 into x with respect to x. Power integral of 5 into x raised to the power minus 2 minus 3 into sine of 2x minus e raised to the power minus 3 into x with respect to x. Pata karo. Now let us see its solution. Let i is equal to integral of 5 into x raised to the power minus 2 minus 3 into sine of 2x minus e raised to the power minus 3 into x with respect to x. Now, by integration of sum property of integrals, as we know that integral of f of x plus g of x with respect to x is equal to integral of f of x with respect to x plus integral of g of x with respect to x. So, using this property here, we have i is equal to integral of 5 into x raised to the power minus 2 with respect to x minus integral of 3 into sine of 2x with respect to x minus integral of e raised to the power minus 3 into x with respect to x. Now, by using integration of constant multiple property of integrals, as we know that for any real number k, integral of k into f of x with respect to x is equal to k into integral of f of x with respect to x. So, using this result, we have i is equal to 5 into integral of x raised to the power minus 2 with respect to x minus 3 into integral of sine 2x with respect to x minus integral of e raised to the power minus 3 into x with respect to x. Now, using the standard result of integrals, we get i is equal to 5 whole multiplied by x raised to the power minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 minus 3 whole multiplied by minus cos 2x upon 2 minus e raised to the power minus 3 into x upon 
minus 3 plus C that is the constant of integration. This implies I is equal to 5 whole multiplied by x raised to the power minus 1 upon minus 1 plus 3 upon 2 whole multiplied by cos 2x plus e raised to the power minus 3 into x upon 3 plus c. So this implies i is equal to minus 5 into x raised to the power minus 1 plus 3 upon 2 whole multiplied by cos 2a plus e raised to the power minus 3 into a upon 3 plus c. Therefore, we have integral of 5 into x raised to the power minus 2 minus 3 into sine 2x minus e raised to the power minus 3 into x with respect to x is equal to minus 5 into x raised to the power minus 1 plus 3 upon 2 whole multiplied by cos 2x plus e raised to the power minus 3 into x upon 3 plus c. Where C is the constant of integration. Hence, this is the required solution. Let us see an example. Find integral of secant square x minus cosecant square x with respect to x pass integral of secant square x minus cosecant square x with respect to x pata karo Now let us see its solution. Let i is equal to integral of secant square x minus cosecant square x with respect to x. Now, as we know, by integration of some property of integrals, integral of f of x plus g of x with respect to x is equal to integral of f of x with respect to x plus integral of g of x with respect to x So using this property here we get i is equal to integral of secant square x with respect to x minus integral of cosecant square x with respect to x Now using the standard results of integrals. Further, 
we get i is equal to tan x plus cot x plus c where c is the constant of integration therefore we have integral of secant square x minus cosecant square x with respect to x is equal to tan x plus cot x plus c where c is the constant of integration hence this is the required solution ਹੁਣ ਤੱਕ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰਟੀਆਂ ਆਫ ਇੰਟੀਗ੍ਰਲਸ ਤੇ ਆਧਾਰਿਤ ਕੁਝ ਉਦਾਹਰਣਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੱਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਆਓ ਹੁਣ ਇਸ ਤੇ ਆਧਾਰਿਤ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਰ ਉਦਾਹਰਣਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੱਲ ਕਰੀਏ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਸੀ ਐਨ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਇੰਟੀਗ੍ਰਲ ਆਫ 1 ਮਾਈਨਸ cos x ਹੋਲ ਡਿਵਾਈਡਡ ਬਾਈ sin ਸਕੁਅਰ x with respect to x pass integral of 1 minus cos x whole divided by sin square x with respect to x pata karo now let us see its solution let i is equal to integral of 1 minus cos x whole divided by sin square x with respect to x it can be written as i is equal to integral of 1 upon sin square x minus cos x upon sin square x with respect to x now by the integration of some property of integral as we know that integral of f of x plus g of x with respect to x is equal to integral of f of x with respect to x plus integral of g of x with respect to x so using this property here we get i is equal to integral of 1 upon sin square x with respect to x minus integral of cos x upon sin square x with respect to x it can be written as i is equal to integral of 1 upon sin square x with respect to x minus integral of cos x upon sin x into 1 upon sin x with respect to x which implies i is equal to integral of cosecant square x with respect to x minus integral of 
cot x into cosecant x with respect to x. Now, using the standard results of integrals, we have i is equal to minus cot x plus cosecant x plus c will c is the constant of integration therefore we have integral of 1 minus cos x whole divided by sin square x with respect to x is equal to minus cot x plus cosecant x plus c where c is the constant of integration hence this is the required solution let us recall what you have learnt in this episode you have learnt about properties of integrals which are as shown property number 1 integration and differentiation are reverse process of each other derivative of integral of f of x with respect to x is equal to f of x integral of f dash x with respect to x is equal to f of x plus c where f dash x is equal to derivative of f of x with respect to x and c is any arbitrary constant property number 2 indefinite integrals with the same derivative are of the same family of curves and are equivalent property number 3 integral of in brackets f of x plus g of x with respect to x is equal to integral of f of x with respect to x plus integral of g of x with respect to x property number 4 for any real number k integral of k into f of x with respect to x is equal to k into integral of f of x with respect to x property number 5 integral of in brackets k1 into f1 of x plus k2 into f2 of x plus k3 into f3 of x plus so on up to kn into fn of x with respect to x is equal to k1 into integral of f1 of x with respect to x plus k2 into integral of f2 of x with respect to x plus k3 into integral of f3 of x with respect to x plus so on up to kn into integral of fn of x with respect to x sap solved wish to see properties of 
ਇੰਟੀਗਰਲਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਉਮੀਦ ਕਰਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਪੂਰੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਸਮਝ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਧ